Well, Black and White Network, New York. What in the world did I just read about New York? Now, I know New York is a blue state, man. I get that. But the Democratic Party has went so far left, especially on social issues, that this would be unheard of, I believe, by Democrats 20 years ago. I got to be honest, man. The Democratic Party is all on board. With this whole trans thing, folks, they really are. And some of these uh, far left idiots are actually getting elected to office. It just baffles my mind how radical some of these people are. And Democrats, man, they are super soft on crime. They're so soft on crime, guys, that they actually want to give fake penises. I'm not joking. That's the real thing. Fake penises to transgenders in prison. Now, I thought that um, prison was actually where criminals should actually go. But if you actually identify as the opposite sex, and in this case, you know, a woman that wants to be a man, they want to give you a fake Penis. Yeah. Why? Because some of these politicians are just that woke, man. They want to waste taxpayer dollars to really accommodate prisoners. This is called special privileges. And to these people, man, it really doesn't matter how violent you are, how radical you are. They don't care. This particular uh, New York politician, man, I believe it's a woman, by the way. She's off her rocker, man. She is really, really off her rocker. This is unheard of. Now, this is a proposed bill. Now, even as loony as Kathy Hochul is, will she actually end up signing this in law? If it even actually gets to her desk? I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? Nothing surprised me here in 2024 because we're living in a clown world. How is this even being proposed, folks? How is this even being proposed? I just don't get it. But Democrats don't care, man. They really don't care. I know New York, you're blue. But are you just that stupid, man? Special privileges for um for trans people. Now I'm curious, guys. If you actually do have a female that wants to identify as a male, and I was thinking at first, you know, this is probably one of those on uh, surgeries where they just give you a um a fake penis. I don't think that's the case. Because the way I'm actually reading into this is to give people like wids and stuff like that. And if they actually want to pack and kind of look like a man, then they'll have that bulge in their pants. That's what I'm assuming here. But you know what a woman would actually do with that? Use your imagination, guys. Use your imagination. We're trying to be family friendly here, okay? But let's get into this. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. If you're watching on Rumble, click the Join button to get access to the same thing. And everyone can also support us by becoming a member on blackandwhitenetwork.com or supporting us on Locals, both, for just $5 per month. Check the links in the description. We appreciate the support. So here we go. Right here, NYC Trans Inmates. Would get chest binders, wigs, fake penises, false breasts under proposed new bill. Yikes. What a way to waste taxpayer dollars. Allowing inmates access to prosthetics would also enable them to hide drugs and weapons 
such as makeshift razor blades that could easily uh, be used to assault other inmates and our officers. Yeah, I agree with that right there. But apparently this woke Democrat doesn't care. Because it's about pushing the agenda. I thought when you went to prison, man, you were you were supposed to actually try to be rehabilitated. But oh, no. Not in this case. It says here, a new bill proposed by a far left Brooklyn Democrat would see that wigs, hair extensions, tucking undergarments, prosthetics, chest binders and other items be provided to transgender inmates in New York City. So is this just going to be a local thing? I don't know how this is actually going to work. Now, Kathy Hochul, of course, is the governor. Could she actually block this? I'm not really sure. But this may actually be like an NYC thing. It says here, because I was actually thinking um, that this is a state thing. But anyway, the bill from Councilwoman Crystal Hudson titled, quote, Requiring that people in the custody and staff of the DOC have access to gender affirming items and medical devices. What? Would amend local law to require that correctional health services do an intake screening shall establish a process by which people in custody may request access to wigs, hair extensions, chest binders, Tucking undergarments or gaps, prosthetics or other similar items or medical devices that are used by individuals to affirm their self-determined gender identity. Man. Wow. If you're doing some tucking action, folks, guess what? I mean, when you're actually in jail, don't you get patted down? Do you realize, man, you can actually hide stuff in those tucking areas? I mean, it's crazy, man. I mean, have you guys ever seen those um, documentaries on um, prison? There, there are prisoners, man, that will do pretty much anything to sneak in drugs. I'm talking about shoving it up the butt and everything. Even they'll actually um, put a put a blade up their butt to actually use as a weapon in prison. I mean, prisoners, man. They, they would do anything, man. Anyway, look at this here. It goes on. Denial or revocation of permission to access these items, quote, must be supported by a written decision, which includes a detailed explanation, all evidence supporting the decision, and current contact information for the Board of Correction and the uh, NYC Commission on Human Rights. The written decision shall be issued to the affected person and the Board of Correction within 24 hours of the department's initial denial or revocation of access to gender-affirming items or medical devices. Man. So this Democrat man is really, really concerned about giving these uh, criminals special privileges if they identify a certain way. Uh, The bill, which will be introduced at Thursday's city council meeting, also requires that staff be allowed to possess gender affirming items. My goodness. Or medical devices while working at a facility operated by the Department of Correction. Hudson told the New York Post, quote, our goal as legislators should be to affirm New Yorkers civil liberties. Providing greater access to gender affirming care to transgender, gender non-conforming, non-binary and or intersex man. What's 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 this long word right here? T-G-N-C-N-B-I? Oh, that's all that together. OK, got it. Uh, people in our city's jails is part of achieving this mission. Wow. The Post reported that it's currently unclear who would foot the bill for these items as the legislation leads the decision up to New York City's Department of Correction? Well, it's taxpayers. The taxpayers, man, that's where it's going to come from. It's pretty clear, man. And the people in New York City vote for their own demise. Now, NYC 
it seems like you're going to be supporting the alphabet mafia because the Democrats say, hey, we must give them special rights. Yeah, that's who's going to that's who's going to fit the bill. It's the taxpayers. Man, critics of the bill have said that these items would be used by detainees as weapons or be used to conceal weapons, of course. Uh, Benny Bosio, Bosio, president of the Corrections Officers Benevolent Association, told the outlet, quote, while COBA fully supports individuals having the freedom to affirm their own gender identity, we cannot support any legislation that compromises the safety and security of our officers and the people in our custody. Well, this Democrat doesn't care. This Democrat doesn't care, man. Democrats don't care, man. They don't care. A quote allowing inmates access to prosthetics would also enable them to hide drugs and weapons such as makeshift razor blades that could easily be used to assault other inmates and our officers, he added. Councilwoman uh, Joan Aurelio, Oriola, that's a, that's the name, Oriola, Republican from Queens said the far left already let the recent push to remove punitive segregation in city jails. So this is just another way for them to create new havoc and make our jails even more of a safety risk, she added. It would put corrections officers, other staff and inmates in danger because these items could be used as weapons or to hide them. So I hope this bill never sees the light of day. Wow. While the DOC said it does not track the number of transgender staff members, 42 of the 6,135 detainees in the city identifies transgender. In other words, guys, 0.068%. Not even a percent. This is like less than half of a percent. But this Democrat man wants to waste money on these type of products, man. Guess what, man? If I'm a prisoner, guess what? I'm going to start identifying so I can get access to all this stuff, man. And then they can actually take that stuff, make it into weapons, stuff like that. Yeah, this is crazy, man. This is really crazy, man. New York City, man. What is wrong with you? New York State, what's wrong with you, too? This is pure insanity, man. But I'm not surprised that Democrats want to do this. This is unbelievable, man. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white network fans, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you next time.